Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. I am back with a video for the embroidery tutorials series. There's no new stitching points. We're going to use the French knots and just straight lines. But you're going to see how to create like a little field of daisies, of little flowers. And I've been inspired by Chrissy. I'll put the link in the description below for her channel and here's the picture that inspired me. Isn't it gorgeous? I love those little daisy flowers. So you're going to see I kind of reproduced something. We, we can never really copy or reproduce because we don't have the same fabric but I've used a cheesecloth and some fabric, flower fabric and I'm going to do little flowers like that. So first, um, I didn't stitch the cheesecloth and the lace and the fabric together thinking that the lines that I'm doing for the steams would hold them together. But if you want, you can do little stitching and like uh, slow stitching and uh, tackle them all together and then you do the flowers. So it's really up to you. Um, but I, I didn't do that. So at the end, you're going to see me doing the slow stitching to tie everything together. So what I'm doing is I'm doing lines. Definitively, I have no plan. I'm going, uh, up and down a little angle, some shorter, some longer, um, grouped not grouped and i just go by by my mood i would say you're gonna see me stretching this fabric all the time it creates some tension when i do the steams but at the end when i'm gonna glue this fabric to a cover um the tension will be all good i'm just double checking myself all the time that the tension is not too much because we don't want the steams to kind of create a tension and fold the whole thing so you just go and do some steams and then we're gonna add the flowers so so far this is pretty simple I'm gonna skip the remaining you saw me doing it so now we're gonna do the center of the flowers so I've used a little like yellowish but it's a, it's a thread that changes from yellow to white and pink. So that was not the best. Um, but that's all I had at that point. So I'm doing a, a French knot. And you can see that I'm skipping some. Because we won't put a flower everywhere. Just randomly here and there. Because we have some that do not have any flowers. So again, I don't know what I'm doing. I just... I just look and I do one here and there, like just a French knot. If you are new to my channel and you didn't see the tutorials on how to do the French knots, I'm going to put the link in the description below for the tutorial video. So again, I'm going to skip the remaining so you don't get bored with that. That's all the flowers done. Now I realize that my lace was not holding at all. So I'm going to do some little stitching here and there, like a bit like a slow stitching, but most of my uh, thread is hiding behind. So I'm just stitching like a little, like a, a little stitch there. And then I move behind. And what I like about doing that as well is that I can create more folds. So I can place the cheese uh, cloth and if I want one more fold, I just create the fold and I attach it with a little stitching point and um, I secure everything like that. We are now ready to do the little petals of the daisy. And you're going to see they are a little bit uh, funky daisies. So they're missing a couple of petals. We just don't want to do them perfectly because that would be just 
too complicated, you know, so it's easy to be more a little bit on the funky side and you just skip here and there some petals. So what I'm doing is I'm alternating my little lines to create the petals. So they are just straight basic lines. You get out from a point A, you go back to a point B, and that's all. You want to do a variation in the length of your lines and the way that they are separated, like they can be grouped together two or three and then you space them. Uh, you can do some all around the French knot, but sometimes you're going to see I'm doing some mostly just at the top or mostly just at the bottom of the French knot. And it's really just a little funky thing. <laughs> and I think I love them because of that. This is just so cute. So there's two ways you can do your little lines like that. You can start from the middle of the uh, from the middle of the flower like the French knot as close as you can to get out and then you you do the length that you want. And for me the easiest I found was uh, to start from the outside of the petal coming to the French knot. And this way I could really put the needle behind the French knot and have like the, um, the stitch ending exactly where I wanted close to the French knot, which was really easier for me than doing the opposite by uh, getting out from almost under the French knot, but somehow that was really harder for me. So both both ways works fine. I suggest you try both and you figure out which one you're the best at. So I've been skipping again some of the stitching because you see how to do it. The only thing we want to see is how to do it and then the end result which is that little cluster. It's a big one. You, you can do that at a smaller uh, scale um, but if it's big like that, it can go on a cover. Thanks for watching. And thanks, Chrissy, for the inspiration. And uh, see you next week for another video. Bye-bye.